Hey everyone, so this is a little excerpt from last year's course with Bernardo Kastrup, uh, week one, where he goes into the scientific and uh, philosophical evidence for refuting materialism. If you're interested in what you hear, then uh, do check out the links in the description for our upcoming course with Bernardo Kastrup, starting in April, called With Reality in Mind. So I think this is a very important thing. Materialists conflate philosophy and science all over the place. Um, not only do they not understand materialism, as I, as I uh, alluded to in the beginning, they think that um, the effectiveness of science somehow proves or at least constitutes strong evidence for materialism. And that is entirely false. It doesn't constitute at all any evidence in favor of materialism. On the contrary, if anything, the behavior of nature that we have been observing over the last 40 years outright contradicts the metaphysics of materialism. For instance, materialism requires physical realism. It requires that uh, physical objects exist in and of themselves in a defined way, independent of whether they are measured or observed or not. Because if that's not the case, then there is no objectively existing self-standing uh, self uh, material world out there in a defined form. That's basically the definition of physical realism. And quantum physics has basically thrown physical realism out the window. Uh, news that is already relatively old, uh, the first strong evidence in favor of, of, of this view, of this conclusion, uh, has come up in, in 1981, the experiments of uh, Alan Aspect and his team uh, in France. Uh, a number of experiments followed up because it's so hard to part with physical realism in the, in the mindset of materialists. Materialists need to believe that there are objects with defined position, defined form, defined momentum out there, irrespective of observation or measurement. And science is telling us that that's not the case. So materialists come up with all kinds of incredibly implausible hypothesis for why the experiments are showing what they are showing um, in a way that could still be made consistent with materialism. And these are extraordinarily implausible hypotheses, which are taken seriously anyway because of the momentum behind the metaphysical belief of materialism. So experiments have been repeatedly redone to close the so-called loopholes. Yeah, that's how these, these things have been uh, described. There are loopholes in the experiments that leave a door open for physical realism or materialism. And progressively, more and more and more sophisticated experiments have been done since 1981, culminating in 2015, perhaps 2018, depending on which experiment you think is more uh, convincing, um, that steadily have closed all of those loopholes and steadily have shown that the conclusion is the same and it's inevitable. There is no such a thing as physical realism. Whatever the world out there is, it is not physical. Physicality arises only upon observation, upon an interaction of the experimenter or of the observer uh, with this objective world. Short of that interaction, short of an observation, short of a measurement, there are no such things as physical entities with defined shape, position, and speed, whatever. They are just not there. There is surely something out there. It's common sense that there is something out there because we describe the world in very consistent ways, but that something is not physical. My, my alternative, of course, would be to say it is mental and physicality arises from observation because physicality is the act of observation, the qualities on the screen of perception. So it's very important to make this separation if we are to progress in a sane way. Uh, conflating science and philosophy leads to all kinds of issues, all kinds of dilemmas, all kinds of contradictions that are just not help, helpful uh, for us. Uh, if you go to my website, bernardocastrup.com, and you go to, uh, on, there's a top menu, a horizontal menu right at the top, and you click on papers. Um, one of the papers in the list you will see, it's a technical paper, but one of them basically summarizes all the, 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 the laboratory physical evidence that goes against, that refutes physical realism. 
An alternative is to click on the SIAM menu, Scientific American, I abbreviate it on my website, I just say SIAM. Click on there and you will, be, uh, you will go to, um, uh, to my personal uh, page on the Scientific American uh, website. Uh, it has a list of all my Scientific American essays and two of them uh, that have quantum physics in the title, two of them discuss at length all the, the, the evidence, the experimental evidence that has been amassing over the last the past 40 years uh, uh, that refute uh, physical realism. So th these are the two key pointers.